am absolutely, you know, concerned about the, the odor. County leaders concerned, neighbors feeling sick, and researchers looking for answers. The smell is lingering in the South Bay with no end in sight. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Kimberly Hunt. And I am Wale Ali. We have known for decades it's from sewage flowing into the Tijuana River, but we don't know yet exactly how dangerous it is. This week, ABC 10 News reporter Madison Weil pressed local leaders about what's being done. Today, she went along with researchers to follow through in their search for answers about how bad it really is. This is a mobile lab set up by UCSD. So I'll spin this up in a second. Okay. This swirling liquid capturing particles in the air. And then we take that back to the lab and we can do things like cell counting, virus counting. They've yeah, specifically been monitoring levels of hydrogen sulfide, a toxin commonly found in sewage, and other gases detected in the air, contributing to the horrific smell. And sure enough, the levels that are, our measurements have really been lining up with what the community members have been saying. They say that it's extremely strong and pungent and they smell it. It peaks at nighttime and it lines up with our measurements. The team explains to us there's not a lot of formal research about long-term chronic exposure to hydrogen sulfide for one basic reason. Because those studies haven't been done mostly because, you know, it's unethical to expose people to that. As for short-term exposure, this is what it can cause. Reddening of the eyes, difficulty breathing, skin irritation, um, nausea, vomiting. Uh, and a lot of the, you know, those are a lot of the symptoms that we, we hear from community members anecdotally. On Thursday, the San Diego County Air Pollution Control District Board shared they've received nearly 2,000 complaints from the community, many people reporting those symptoms. <laughs> On Friday, we asked the Air Pollution Control District and our county supervisors what's next. They said they're now working with the South Coast Air Quality Management District and also in talks with the EPA. This week, the board approved funding for additional air purifiers for families in the area. Are you guys looking at that white stuff? Yeah. But acknowledged it's a temporary solution to a problem that needs addressing urgently at its root. We're working on it. <laughs> Madison Weil, ABC 10 News. We got a statement from the EPA within the last 20 minutes. The agency says there is no threat from hydrogen cyanide, but it will work with the county and air pollution control district to conduct further analysis.